Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing some live swatches. I know a lot of you guys are going to be excited to see these because lately I've had mostly podcast videos on my channel. I did start a new podcast and I just want to thank you guys so much for being so supportive and letting me do something that just kind of, it, it what's the right word? It like re-energized me and made me really excited about YouTube again. Don't get me wrong, I love beauty content and I'm not going to stop because I freaking love it and I love live swatches. It's just when it's just that I've only been doing live swatches for like so long. I was just starting to hit a bit of a wall and I was just getting a little little burnout. I'm not going to lie, but adding this other content to my channel and also, you know, it's on all the podcast things. Um, it's just something that kind of re-energized me and has got me like super pumped about YouTube again. I just really thank you guys for letting me add that to my channel. I know it's not for everyone and it doesn't get a lot of views and I literally don't even care because it's something I'm having so much fun with. It's honestly just good for my soul. I don't care if it makes a dime. It just feels good for me to have other things to talk about sometimes than, than makeup. I love makeup, don't get me wrong, but I need a little bit extra. You know what I mean? I need a little something else. But the great thing is, is by adding those things, I'm now like so excited for when it's time to do live swatches. I'm like, yes, I've missed live swatches. It's like super exciting for me. So thank you guys so much for not only supporting my podcast, but also, you know, just understanding that I needed to add something else. But we're back today with live swatches. We are doing the Palm Springs collection by ColourPop. I have to tell you, this collection has probably excited me more than most of the collections we've seen from ColourPop lately. We have some face, some lips, and some eyeliners, but I wanna show you the palette because I'll be honest with you, this is what I care most about. Look at this beauty. <sighs> it's so gorgeous. This orange has me like, Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. And the best part about this video is that this collection is already out. So if you see something you wanna pick up, it's available for you now. You don't have to wait. As always, you can use my affiliate code Shay uh, to save you some money on your ColourPop purchase. That's always fun. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I wanna swatch the eyeliners really quickly. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna do those on the hands because eye swatches already are a little tough. They it, it hurts, I'm not gonna lie. And with all the removing of the makeup and the reapplying, I typically miss out on filming the next day because my eyelids are swollen. And so just adding the eyeliners doesn't really help. We're gonna do some hand swatches of those and then get into the lips, the face, and then lastly, the eye palette. So let's get going. I am so excited for this eyeliner specifically, but okay. Oh, let me zoom you in. Let me zoom my beautiful bitches in. I have not said that in a long enough time. So I believe some of these eyeliners are actually repeats. For example, Honey Dude. This is Honey Dude. It's a nice nude. It is not a new color. So just wanted to point that out. But this is just a really nice, very nude liner. Great for the waterline or for that invisible eyeliner trend I was just doing. There is Honey Dude. You can see there, it's kind of like the perfect, if this is the type of nude you're going for, it's kind of the perfect light nudie liner. Also, how do you like my audio? I upgraded my mic, so I'm hoping that's better. Next, we have Crystal Crush. Looks to be a blue. I do believe this is new. Oh my gosh, that is like freaking neon. Again, you know what I'm gonna say because I'll never stop saying it. Where was this in the neon collection? But I'll forgive them because it's in the Palm Springs collection and it's beautiful. I love that, wow. Next up, what is this guy? This is Overboard. I believe Overboard is not new either. Am I mistaken? What a beautiful bronze. Whether it's new or not, I don't care because it's gorgeous. There is Overboard. Last but not least, what I've been so excited for, this is Puppy. Is Puppy not new either? Okay, now, well now I have to Google. Now I have to stop being a lazy bones. Puppy is not new either. Wow. So are all the liners repeats? I thought it sounded too familiar. I don't even care because it's amazing. This is so pretty. I need this like super, super, super rubbed in into my under eye and some lashes and like a, a orange lip to go with and I'm good to go. I might do that look on Instagram or something. There is puppy. Beautiful, beautiful. So those were fun. What did you think? Next, let's get into the lips. We have, these are the glowing lips. Remember the glowing lips? Cute little packaging too. I love how little they are. It's actually perfect for summer because, you know, less clothing in the summertime. Smaller pockets. <laughs> the first shade here is called Botanicals. They smell so good, by the way. I look so tired. We got it. We adopted a new kitty. Her name is Bella. 
and she's four years old, and she's currently living in our bedroom because we're slowly doing the introductions, very slowly, to our other three cats. So she has a lot of zoomies at like 4 a.m., and she's just a darling, but I'm really, really tired. She keeps us up all night. This is like so cute. This is like perfect for brunch or like weekend market shopping. Just a real quick mm, little something. I feel naked without a lip color. I like a little something. So this is kind of perfect for that. That is Botanicals. The next shade is Adults Only. Okay, love this one. This one just took away my love for the other one. I like this one more. <laughs> I like a little more pizzazz, so I'm changing it. This is my little brunch weekend market lip because I love to put an event, a time, a place to a lip color. That's what I would choose for this. That is Adults Only. Oh my God, they keep getting better. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna choose a favorite because this would obviously win. No, I like, this is for night out. We'll say this is for night out. This shade is Desert Aura. Oh my God, I love it. I love an orange lip. I love an orange lip. I feel like a. I feel like an orange lip is like the equivalent of a red lip, but it's for like trendy queens. You know what I mean? Real funky cats, if you will. That is Desert Aura. It's obviously my favorite because I love, love, love orange and just. It's fun. It's bright. I love it. Okay, look at this. The very last shade is called Mid-Century, and I love that. I've been on such a crazy mid-century home design and antique furniture kick right now. It's like all I look at on Instagram and on TikTok. I'm just watching mid-century videos. Love it. Oh my god, it's beautiful. This is so stunning. Oh my god. Wow, I was not expecting the lips to be a wow moment for me. I'm gonna be honest with you. I wasn't super jazzed about them. It was just kind of like meh. I was just excited to get to the palette. So I'm like excited. This is so gorgeous. And I love that technically we have like two night out lips, like two party lips, two fun lips. And then we have two like more daytime, if you will, type of lips. But you know, I don't believe in all that shit. You know, wear it whenever you want. <laughs> I'd wear this on Sunday to church. If I went, I don't, but that's how much I love it. Beautiful, 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 mid-century, Okay, really quick, just for continuing on the video, I put on ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Another Round, perfect, and I topped it with Adults Only, and I think it's such a cute little lip. Just thought I'd let you know. Now we're getting to the Super Shock highlighters. We have three shades. There is Flip Flop. Can I tell you guys what I was thinking about? I've not worn flip flops in years. Like, when did I just stop wearing flip flops? Like. Six years ago, you'd old, like even in the dead of winter, you'd catch me in flip flops. And now all of my shoes are like slides. You know what I mean? Or I wear sneakers. I can't remember the last time I owned a pair of flip flops. Where do you even buy flip flops these days? Like TJ Maxx or something? Does Old Navy still? I've not been in an Old Navy in so long. Do they still do their walls of flip flops? Do you remember that? And they'd have like a dollar sale, and you'd go nuts, and you'd have every colored flip flop in the world. Anyway, then we have Windmill. Isn't that beautiful? And then we have. Is it Natch or Notch? Natch? What's a Natch? I would think it would be Notch, but it says Natch. Starting with Flip Flop, because this one's really the one that's most intended for my skin tone. The other two I don't really think are, so take my review of those lightly. You know what shade will work best for you. I'm just here as like a decoy almost. That's beautiful. Nice, light, I hate to say gold. It's pretty, it's a good glow. That is Flip Flop. Next we have Windmill. This is like almost rose goldy, like a half copper, half rose gold, I would say. Mind you, this will look better on somebody with deeper skin, so take my swatch very lightly. I'm only doing this so you can maybe imagine it on yourself if you know these tones work for you or not. So I just, I hate to even do this because I don't want to muddy your opinion on the color, just so you can kind of, you know, get a vibe for what it will look like. It's got really pretty rosy, rosy tones, more rose than copper. It's really, it's really pretty. That is Windmill. And then we have Natch, which again, really not intended for my skin tone. Oh my God, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I would use this on my eyes. I think that would be gorge. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I'll put a little on just because, but again, don't let it muddy your opinion on it. It's not really intended for me. And I don't want you to think it's like bad or something. You know what I mean? Just because it's gonna look bad on me, basically. This is probably my favorite between Windmill and Natch 
because it has this really gorgeous golden glow through it and it's so warm. And then when you turn this way, it almost has like a blush effect. And I really like that. Again, not really intended for me, but it's really, really beautiful. And I would love to see it on somebody who it is suited for. That is the shade Natch. Okay, who is ready for some eye swatches? Let me scoop in. Let's get crazy. Boys, girls, and NBs, are we ready to go to eye swatch pound town? I don't know why I said that. Um, I'm just beaming with excitement, that's all. I mean, look at this color. Look at this color, people! Jumping right in, the first shade is Prick Me. I believe this is kind of like a super shocky feel. Yeah. No, I like this. This is awesome because even if you're, you know, of course, obviously use it on the eyes, but it's like having a little super shock highlighter like right in the palette, kind of doubling up, you know? Mm-mm-mm, see? This is Prick Me. And Prick Me just has gorgeous vacay vibes. A nice light golden toned glisten with a little sparkle in it. Perfect for a little inner corner highlight, little under the brow bone, all over the lid, what have you. Or be like me and use it on your face. <laughs> Simple, glam, we love it. That is Prick Me. The next shade is Soaked. Very pretty pastel blue. It's a matte, which is nice. Actually, it's pretty well split between the mattes and the shimmers in this palette, so that's cool. Love that. I'm always disappointed when there's not enough mattes or not enough shimmers, you know what I mean? Well, that's not necessarily true. I do love an all matte palette, but yeah, sometimes they're too shimmery and not enough mattes. And just me personally, I need a few mattes to like fully build a look, you know what I mean? Gosh, this is gorgeous, oh my goodness. Somebody stop me. I just can't. I can't. I can't stop putting it on. It's just so pretty and it's so vibrant and it's so pastel. I was nervous it would just look straight up chalky. I really was. But no, it has beautiful color showing through. So that is soaked. The next shade is Neon Kiss. It is so gorge. I can't. Who wouldn't want a little Neon Kiss? <laughs> I love it. I don't want to sound like a broken record and just keep saying, I love it, I love it, I love it. You know what I mean? But I can't help it, you guys. I was really excited for this palette. Love, love, love this color scheme. It feels really refreshing, and I just, I really like it. It's kind of perfect for summer. If you like color and all that, I guess I can't generalize and say it's perfect, because I'm sure there's a lot of people who wouldn't wear these types of shades. As a color lover, it's perfect for me. I'm obsessed. That is Neon Kiss. The next shade is Sizzlin'. Is this like a squash color? Is this the color of squash? I feel like it is, right? Am I wrong? I like never eat squash, but I'm just getting squash vibes. <laughs> I'm just like getting squash vibes. Is that correct? <laughs> Remember that vine? Uh, technically, that is not correct because according to the encyclopedia, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? He's so funny, he's so funny. Listen, I love TikTok, but I do miss Vine. Like Vine was so pure, you know? I take back the word pure because naturally as these things do, a ton of the Vine people turned out to be giant creeps in real life. However, <laughs> the content was good. <laughs> That's squashy, correct? Maybe just straight up pumpkin, I don't know. But that is sizzling. The next shade is called Private Event. I feel like these shadows are like bigger. Right? Aren't they bigger than normal? This was the like little the palette they let me create once upon a time. Like the closest thing to a collab I've had. Yeah, they're bigger, aren't they? They're huge, right? Am I crazy? Yeah, this is my ColourPop collab. <laughs> I'll cherish it forever. No, I once did another really cool curated set and they let me design the packaging. That was really cool. I'm grateful for that. I'm thankful for that. I've accepted that that's, that's the collab I will have and that's okay. I, I'm lucky enough just to have that. It is what it is, you know? You just can't collab with people who don't get that many views. That's just the bitter truth of it all. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. That is with a dry brush, people. This is with a dry brush. Are you understanding me? It's so like creamy. Okay, let's wet the brush. I have Kelly Clarkson's Piece by Piece song stuck in my head, and I don't even know why, because I don't think I've listened to it since I was like 13, and it's gonna make me cry for obvious reasons. That song just fucks me up. Oh, absolutely beautiful. That is Private Event. Ha -cha -cha -cha. The next shade is Hot Tub. Really gorgeous, like sparkle to it all on its own. Like not just a shimmer, it also has like this just glimmer to it. 
Wow, these are beautiful. I don't think they changed the formula at all, but like something about the formula feels really good. You know what, maybe it's just been a minute since I've done live swatches and I'm just like a little confused, but it just feels really, really good. It is so buttery, smooth, and silky. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's wet the brush again. Pop that on top. And of course that gives a beautiful foil. Oh, and it just looks wet and it's just amazing. Gosh, that shine is unbelievable, is it not? What do you guys think? That's with barely, barely any moisture too. That's pretty wonderful if you like a real good pop. That is the shade Hot Tub. Oh my God, guys, did you ever just, you're just like innocently on TikTok and then you're crying? Cause that's what I've been doing. I unfortunately can't play it with music or they will like literally flag my video. But this TikTok here of these girls just dancing, like just having the time of their lives, it just like made me cry and I'm just like happy for them. Like that's such a core memory that they're just making there. It just looks so nice. <laughs> I need to fucking get out more. What is wrong with me? Oh my god. I'm literally crying. <laughs> god help me. Please. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> I've collected myself. I'm all better. I can't physically and emotionally handle people making core memories in front of me and like witnessing it. I just cried so hard. It's just so nice to see. We had, we've just had such a shitty few years, everyone. I hope you guys are making core memories this summer. If you are, send me them. I wanna hear about them. I just, oh, that man, that really caught me off guard. The next shade is Climb Time. This colored shadow is so beautiful, but I'd never wear it. I just don't think I can pull it off very well. I think it intimidates me, which is sad because it's so pretty. But yeah, these these aqua blues definitely, or the turquoise, uh, I think intimidate me the most out of all colors. It's this turquoise, I don't know. And I don't know why, because it's so beautiful. And it's my birthstone. Can't be afraid of your birthstone color. Don't Capricorns have like two different stones? Am I remembering that correctly? Or is that just like a bad Cosmo article I read once? I don't know. Wetting the brush. You guys, I've been using this Little Barn Apothecary Mist and for a minute I had a little panty because I thought that it was like room spray. <laughs> I thought that I had realized that it was room spray, but it's not, it's a cooling mist. So I was like, oh no, it can't be room spray because it specifically says cooling mist. And like, you wouldn't cool your room with it, right? But it smells like it could be room spray or like pillow spray, you know what I mean? Could it be pillow spray? I'm using it on my fucking eye. No, it says there's aloe vera in it. Okay, we've settled it. It is face spray. I don't think it's particularly good for my eyes, but I can't find a setting spray, so. We're using what we got. I am done over consuming. I'm just done with it, you guys. This is so striking. Why am I so intimidated by this? Because it's so beautiful. How embarrassing that I just almost said, like, I'm gonna challenge myself this year to wear turquoise eyeshadow. What an embarrassing challenge for myself. <laughs> anyway, that is climb time. The next shade is a matte. This is intense. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's so funny, you guys. It's funny because it sounds like you're saying, like, whoa, that's so intense but it's intense. I don't know if they intended that, but I bet they did. Colourpop, you're always so shifty like that. I don't think shifty is the right word. <laughs> Creative, <laughs> punny, punny, punny is the word, not shifty. My God, they about to cut me off the freaking PR list. Don't do it, Colourpop. I look like shit, it's midnight. I did not mean to be filming so late, but, well, first of all, I cried on TikTok for like an hour. Secondly, my husband, Alok, is in Canada right now and he's there for work all week and he's been so, so busy. He does like programming for this company and like whatever. He has clients in Canada and it's like, they're finally getting the program. <laughs> Look at me trying to explain what my husband does and I have no fucking idea. It's like some type of software and like finally it's off the ground running, but he has to be there this week to like supervise and like set it up and train, train everyone. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> some like smart person job like that. I don't know. I don't know shit. But anyway, he's in Canada and he's so, so busy. So he doesn't have time to chat much on the phone all day. He finally called me and then I talked to him for like an hour. So... <laughs> And then I look at the clock and it's like midnight, like what the heck? I'm like so jealous though. He took his little team 
to go see Niagara Falls after work. Isn't that so cute? I've never been, but it looks been like a hundred times because this family was really cute and they did like educational family vacations. <laughs> and so we saw the Grand Canyon. He saw Niagara Falls growing up. I went to the Mall of America, which no regrets. That was really fun. Uh, that was our only family vacation we went one time until this summer, I went to Mexico for my mom's surprise wedding. I'm getting delirious. You guys know this happens to me. I'm getting deliriously tired and I'll just talk, 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 talk. That is intense. It is rather intense. A beautiful blue. Ah. I'm growing out my bangs and they are so awkward. It's that awkward bang time. Awkward bang gang. Oh my gosh, I kind of look like the girl from the ring. That's fun for me. That's a new one. A sequin formula. My least favorite color pop. Although this one looks kind of like freaking amazing. This one has lots of shimmer, 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 glimmer, 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 glimmer. What is this even called? Get Ariel. That's fun. Get Ariel. I have to ask you guys a question. So, you know on TikTok, on TikTok lives. Oh, this one's pretty because the sparkle's actually popping up. On TikTok, I'm sure you've seen this if you've gone through the TikTok lives. People will be like, just literally showing like a movie or like a TV show all day. How do I ask this? And I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble. I'm actually curious because I would love to somehow watch a movie with you guys or something, do something fun like that. Or watch an episode of like all the shows I'm talking about right now on my podcast. Is that legal? And like, what's the dealio? Like, do you know about that? Like, can you get on, in trouble on TikTok for, like, showing a show? Like, say, okay, so every Saturday and Sunday, as you guys know, on my Cheeky Couch podcast, we recap two episodes of Real Housewives of Orange County and Real Housewives of New Jersey. So, like, say, before my podcast, I wanted to, like, show those two episodes on my TikTok live and then we can come back and talk about it on my cheeky couch. Like, what are the risks? I guess like what, like having your account banned or deleted? So say you had like a second account. Oh my God, should I like not be plotting this like on video? Just, you know what I'm asking. And if you know an answer, leave it below. You know what I'm asking though. Okay, with sequin formula, you take like your finger, you go boop, boop, boop. You pick up a little extra sparkle. You pop, pop, pop. You know what I'm asking, right? But is that, that's like, I don't, um, ooh, oh, don't say the word. Don't say the word. <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out on my own. I'm not involving you. Wow, I almost like potentially involved you guys in a crime. I'm sorry. Okay, that is Get Ariel. It's a beautiful burnt orange with some nice golden sparkle. Honestly, actually, now that I see it on, it's not sparkling as much as I wanted it to, but it's still a really pretty color, so I don't really mind. That is Get Ariel. Uh, that, <laughs> the name keeps making me pause because it sounds like we're putting a hit out on Ariel, which is never okay. <laughs> Never okay, no hits. Oh my gosh, ColourPop, you are so funny and punny. The next one is Palms Away. That is hilarious. Wowza, I don't know why this is my absolute favorite color of the palette, but it is. <laughs> I don't know why it is, but it is. It's really a vibe. These mats are so beautiful, I'm telling you, they really are gorgeous. That is so, so pretty, I love it. That is Palms Away. The next shade is Chino. Always good to have a brown in the palette. And yes, we have like a lot of warm toned ones, obviously, and this one is still a warm toned one, but I love a smoky eye personally, so I always appreciate having one of these in the palette. I'm trying not to make an absolute mess all over my face, because I still have to take my thumbnail for the video. Oh my God, it's so funny. It's like every, it seems to be that ColourPop always has the darkest shadows at the end of their palettes, always. And so I'll be like going through the whole video and I'll be like, oh, I look fine. Everything's going to be fine. And then I get to the last two and it's like bleh, makeup all over my face. And I try to clean it up in my thumbnail and it's so difficult. Beautiful warm brown. We've seen it a hundred times, but it's great nonetheless. That is Chino. Last but certainly not least, we have Hole in One. And it is a dark, beautiful navy. I'm just going to pop it on this side. Oh my God, I didn't lay down a base. Oh no, I didn't lay down a base. Well, here goes nothing. I have absolutely no base on this eye. I really goofed up. But hey, it's still depositing quite nicely. <laughs> Even with the dried ass foundation and powder on my lid. Ugh, I just love dark blues. How can you not? How can you not? They look amazing on everybody. Even if you think you can't pull it off, you can. You absolutely can. Just keep the face super fresh and gorgeous. Real dewy. 
I would do the blown out blue all over the lid. Keep this super clean and tight. You don't need anything down here if you're gonna do something like this all over the lid. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <sighs> that is like navy, but it's bright. I can't. I love it. That is hole in one. This was really fun. I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts. Like I said, you can use the affiliate code SHAY and that will save you some money on your ColourPop purchase. If you guys haven't already checked out my Cheeky Couch podcast, I would love if you did. It's so much fun and you guys have been so sweet. Everyone's left me comments saying that like it's my element and like I found like my element, which is just so crazy to me. I just, I thought I was gonna be bad at it. And every comment is saying that like, I'm so much more natural at that. Um, and so it's just been really nice. I'll get, I'll literally cry again because it just means a lot to me. I always feel like an outcast. I have my entire life. I just always feel like the weird girl. <laughs> and so I don't know, it was just nice to see you guys being so supportive and so nice to me. Like I said, if even if it gets no views, I don't care. It makes my heart so happy. And I think that really shows in my podcast that it's just... I don't care about anything but just talking and like kind of hanging out. And that's exactly what it feels like. Like it's just such a chill, it's just such a chill sesh that I love it. I love it so much. So anyway, Fridays we just kind of do like general chit chat, like topics from the week, things that are going on, things I really want to talk about. Um, and then Saturday and Sunday we do Real Housewives of New Jersey and Real Housewives of Orange County recaps where I recap two episodes per podcast episode. Saturday is Real Housewives of New Jersey. Sundays are Orange County. And my podcast is also available on Apple, Stitcher, Spotify. Yeah, they're available all there. So I will have them linked down below. I hope you guys check it out if you haven't already. And I am begging for downloads and reviews on Apple Podcast because they are so stingy with any podcaster help. <laughs> You have to like qualify. I guess it's like YouTube. It's basically trying to like where they help you out a little bit more with creator tools and things like that um, and being able to get feedback about your podcast and things like that. So just any assistance you guys could give me there would be so appreciated. I love you so much. And anyway, I gotta go. Did I tell you about my new cat? I think I did. Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.